What is going on, Cubs fam? We are back for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video, and I am super hyped today to bring on my brother, the Senate, to talk about this video. He is dabbing on his entrance. What's going on, Senate? What's going on, Cubs fam? Dude, the Senate. Y'all ready for this? I, I am freaking ready. You have got a big upgrade in your setup. You've got a green screen. You've got a microphone. You're you're going all out now. You're streaming on Twitch, gaining a following and everything, huh? I'm locked and loaded, brother. <laughs> I'm playing for keeps. You're playing for keeps. We got a link down to his Twitch stuff down in the comments below. Be sure to go check him out. And you're doing a little bit on YouTube as well? We're doing Twitch for now. We're, okay, you're, you're back to just doing Twitch. Okay, so go, go Twitch. subscribe to him on Twitch and all of that good stuff. So today, fam, we are talking about our regrets in terms of character farming. There are so many characters that we have options to farm in here. And when you're on a budget or when you're not spending, there's inevitably going to be some characters that you really just wish that you had focused on when you had the chance. Um, am I right, Senate? <laughs> There's always those those units that just get slipped through the cracks and you just look at them for months on end wishing that you had them usable and you just don't. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I've got five. Senate has got five. I'm going to share with you my first one and I'm, I'm just going to get this one out of the way, fam. I just I, I got to get it out of the way because I know you guys are going to give me grief if, if we don't talk about it. All right. <laughs> it's Arc Trooper. All right. I wish I had him up there right now. I just don't have time to take him from gear 12 to gear 13 because I got to get my SOKR farm done. I'm finishing off my Jedi Luke farm. But after that, I'll consider it. But I wish I had him. I wish I had him. It's a shame because you he's the hes the tune though. You, you really should have had him already. And there's a point where you just can't go back and get him. So he's just going to kind of, he's going to kind of be there for you. That's how a lot of these characters are. It's like, if you didn't farm them when you were supposed to, you might never find a chance to do it again. All right, Senate, what's exactly. your first one? My first one is actually going to be a combo, a combo deal between two, because I feel like they, they, they kind of are, 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 are linked. Okay. Which is going to be the hyena bomber and the vulture droid. Oh, oh, you're going ships. So okay. I'm going ships. Um, well, the, 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 reason the audacity being, of this man. It's a so I, <laughs> I recently got in contact with my fleet shard uh, okay. on stream. Actually, inadvertently, it was a it was a fun time. Cool. And it turns out that using the malevolence against the negotiator is a lot easier. Mm. Like you can just hit on auto offense. apparently on, on offense. But, on offense, yeah. yeah. But only if you have the hyena bomber and the vulture droid. And mine are sitting at four and five stars. Yeah. Which means that I can't really use them. So, I mean, I I just, I need to farm them to seven stars, but it, it, it's the same thing. Just when am I going to be able to do that? Yeah. Yep. Yep. There's so many other priorities. All right. I'll, I'll share my next one. I can't believe that you did ships, man. But I, I res listen, I respect it. I respect it. Ships are... It's one of those things, man. It's like a pain in your side, but there's so many benefits to uh, focusing them down. Gene Ocean Spy, he's only at gear 11, man. And how much does a relic, high relic spy just shred if you've got him farmed? A lot. <laughs> I mean, he, he's, it, it's like one of the most enjoyable things in the game. You know, like annihilating, rexilating, yeah. geo spy smacking. Like they're, they're just it's up there for one of the most entertaining big hits in the game. Spacking. Saber throwing Spack, invader. Spamacking. Spy smacking. Sp smacking. Okay, I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. What's your next one? <laughs> My next one is another ship. Get ready for Three another ships. ship, Cubs fam. It is going to be the Y Wing. Oh, the BTL. Okay. BLT Y Wing. Okay. Yeah, the BTL. Because Dude, that is good, man. It just makes the negotiator fleet so much more annoying to deal with. Yeah. Especially when he comes in as a reinforcement. He's throwing around retribution or whatever the hell he does. Yeah. It's he's very tanky, adds another taunt. Also, he's Galactic Republic, so he makes it a little easier to get to the ultimate for yep. uh, for the bombing run. So yep. he's just he's very, very valuable ship to have. And I wish I had him. And same thing, never going to have him. It is very, very tied turning when the Y-Wing comes in as a reinforcement. You can be on top of a negotiator mirror match. And then if a seven star Y-Wing pops out, the, that whole battle could shift around and you could lose 
as a direct result of that. So I, I think that's a really good choice. I'd say that's probably a regret of mine. I didn't personally include ships on this because I hate ships, but uh, I could probably say the Naturally. same thing about the Y-Wing. All right, Count Dooku is my next one. This guy's sitting at only gear 11. Um, now, I do have them at seven stars. A lot of these characters I have at seven stars. I guess we're, we're talking more about characters that we wish we had farmed to a more usable place than we have them at currently. But Dooku, when you get him into the relics, especially Senate, and you're able to put him on defense with a newt team, the amount that, you know, obviously he's got that Makashi that, that's great. He can stealth everyone. He can counter underneath protection and stun there's just so many annoying components of his of his uh kit that make defense very problematic i can't tell you how i would say probably one of the more common teams that i find a way to lose to in grand arena is solid dooku's if i'm gonna drop a battle I, i've dropped a lot of battles against solid dooku's dooku does a ton of damage yeah. when he's relic and his kit is very versatile. He's got self-regen protection. He's dishing out tons of debuffs. He's stealthing the team. He's like a support attacker with also some healing, like tank-type qualities. He's hard to get to because he's always stealth himself. He's yeah. very, very good. And the more damage he's doing, the more protection he's got, obviously, when he's relic. Yep. Just the, the more annoying it is to get through. Yeah, and you're kind of you kind of get used to with Dooku. Um, when you got like a gear 12 Dooku or a gear 11 Dooku, he goes down pretty quick. Not a big problem. You get him up into the relics, and mm -hmm. that that becomes a little tougher to get through him. He's still, you know, for gear 13 character standards, he's still relatively squishy. Uh, but you know, it's a lot different at gear 13. So, all right, what's your next one? My next character is going to be an actual character done with ships, people. Okay, done thank with ships. the Lord. Those are the only ships worth having, actually, that I don't. So <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. But my first tune, top five, is going to be Shock T. Shock T. Okay. My Shock T is gear 12 with one piece. Oh, and man. what that means is that there is no chance in hell that I'm ever going to get a Ki Kiati Mundi shard. Yeah. And... It's just depressing because every week I'm doing territory battles or whenever it comes around once a month and the guild comes knocking, you know, who's <laughs> doing that? You got to do the mission. Have you attempted the mission yet? And I always just kind of roll my eyes like it's it's a waste of time. Like I, I got to have Shock T at gear 13, yeah. man. And, and it's just she's not going to be. So I'm yeah. never going to I'm putting my guild behind by not having her at Relic, you know, Re Relic 4 or whatever you need her at. And it's just going to be like that. It's the same thing. I'm not going to I'm not going to ditch farming Galactic Legend Ray to get one Kaiati Mundi shard. So maybe maybe that would be worth it if Kaiati Mundi, Mundi was a good character. Yeah, but... if Kiati Mundi was worth it, then maybe <laughs> it would be worth dropping, you know, stop dropping and rolling my whole 13 tune farm for one for one tune, but it's just not going to happen. So Kiati Mundi is without question the most disappointing character Capital Games has released in the last year. Um, it may be ever, honestly. He he may he's way up there, especially if you consider it how hard he is to get, how end game he is, and how terrible he is. It's just it's really He's he's like the he's the the tune embodiment of the reward structure right now in Galactic Challenges. <laughs> like you beat the game and then you get uh, rewards for that that you already have given your characters for getting to that point. It's essentially like that. Like it's just backwards, right? right? Listen, fam, it's time for a moment of self-reflection, okay? I'm going to tell you guys a commentary on just how bad Galactic Challenges are currently. Right now, Galactic Challenges have been out for just over a week, and instead of making a strategy guide for Galactic Challenges, the Senate and I are here doing a top 10 video. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. we are. The next one on my list is an absolute G, and it is Candorous Ordo. Look at this guy checking his... His bazooka here. This guy is Duke Nukem so, himself. Yeah, yeah, very similar to Dooku. Um, on all the, he's got the triple tap, obviously. And when you get him up to relics, oh my gosh, this guy is such a great surprise defensive character that can really catch people off guard. But again, when am I gonna find time to farm him? I doubt. I doubt I'll ever farm him up past where he's at right now. I could take him up one gear level right now, though. Maybe I should. Not gonna do it. You just. You just won't be able to invest the resources, but he is the no. type of character where you get some like throwaway team, you know, like a like a like three v three or you know those those uh, those Karth Karth teams or whatever yep. that you kind of just use JTR like whatever nonsense you have. But if you get a relic Candorus in there, you really have to work around that because he's going to be literally he's going to be killing your tunes before you can even get going. 
Right. All right. You're up next. You've got, what, two two characters left? Two left to go. My number four is going to be Geonosian Brute Alpha. Oh, you don't have Brute Alpha? My is Brute he, Alpha he is gear 12. 12. Oh. He is gear 12. I've got all the Zetas on him. I've got, you know, decent enough mods on him. Oh, but man. the Relic is so vital yes. for a few reasons. First yes. of all, because he just adds so much to Brute. Yep via protection and health pools and also speed but also because when you have him relic then you can even use him as a counter with darth revan for galactic legend ray yep. but as he sits right now he's just too weak and so i just get steamrolled i get i get one shot so i can't use him as a counter so having him at relics enables you to counter galactic legends which is very valuable but it's the same thing he's just i just can't do it yep all right, I can't, I can't believe you don't have brute, brute Alpha there, and that's that's two Gear 13 characters for the price of one, but still be usable yeah. at Gear 12 at least. I'm sure you're still finding some use for him, even if not uh, as much as you would at Gear 13. He's not useless, but it's just not that next level. All right, here's my uh, my last one is my girl, Kara Dune. Now, Kara Dune, I probably wouldn't regret this if I didn't have a seven-star Mon Mothma. But because I've got seven star Mon, I just really wish that Kara Dune was a character I had at Relics because Kara Dune really elevates those rebel fighters and takes them to a pretty impressive level. Um, there, there are teams, don't get me wrong. There are teams that will work with Mon Mothma that are great and I still have hope that somebody else is going to come. But Kara Dune in there definitely seems to be a common variable in all of the most impressive Mon Mothma teams I've seen. She is. She is a big time damage dealer. Yep. And she's a very good support character. She's going to taunt and she's got revives built into her own kit. So you yeah. don't even have to worry about the whole Mon Mothma business. And yep. I actually got, I, I almost got cheesed by one, by a low level one. Oh, in oh Grand I Arena. remember so that. I, yes. Yes. Yeah, so just kept I, reviving. I respect Kara Dune. Lower <laughs> high levels. She is no joke. <laughs> Throw the Zeta on Comment her. Comment below Watch out. if you were at the Senate stream when he almost lost to, what was it? A gear eight Kara Dune? <laughs> It was a Gear 8 three-star Cara Dune with a three-star Mandalorian three-star, uh, what's his name, Grief Karga. It was the, the type of battle where you look at it and you're like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll take, in, I'll take in my Relic tunes I've yeah. got left over. It's a trap. But she had so many revives, uh, it was, you had to work around it. She, her kit is very unique. It's, it's not quite as complicated as maybe like Nest or something Yeah. where you have to have like a specific kind of strategy. Right. But it was very, very much so caught me off guard. Interesting. All right. Who's your last character? My last character is going to be the Wompster himself. Ah, uh, Wampa. Wampa. My Wampa, Wampa Smash, is gear 12. And he's been gear 12 ever since I unlocked him. Got yep. him seven stars. And it's going to change eventually because I'm going to gear him up for, uh, you know, for, for Jedi Luke. But not yet. Until then, he's let me down sometimes in Grand Arena. I take him in with Bastila, the, the legendary Bastila Wampa Hoda lineup or, yeah. or Ezra or whoever else you're taking in there. Watt Tambor even. Yep. But he just doesn't have the DPS at gear 12 to really put out the damage that he needs to do. Yep. I'll tell you what. I, I've got my gear 13 Wampa because I am, I am almost ready for Jedi Luke. And I have yet to lose a battle with Bastila Wampa and Hoda at my with my Wampa at Gear 13. And ev ev oh, pretty exactly. much every single battle that I've done has been not not just like, you know, I won, but like very, 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 very convincing wins every time. I'm comfortable. Yeah, he's he's, you yeah. know, it's taken my Wampa five or six turns to get going. Yours is already already full cooking at like one or two turns. Oh, yeah. He's basicing for 70, 80, 90,000 very, very quick. So, all right, everyone, we want to hear from you guys down in the comments below. Which characters are your regrets that you wish that you had farmed? Be sure to tell us and on your way out, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already and click on the link in the description to go check out the Senate on Twitch. When are you streaming, Senate? I just moved my schedule back with the uh, this very sad departure of Urzatron from the Hollow Tables. Yeah, I am now streaming typically weeknights at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Okay. Weeknights. And occasionally on the weekend. Uh, join my Discord as well. There's a link to my Discord in the uh, in my Twitch channel. Okay. No need to plug it extra here. We've got it on Twitch. Just hop over to Twitch, throw a follow, hop onto the Discord. You'll be in the loop. Love it. It's so. It's. I gotta say, uh, from the Cubs fam to the Senate, it's really satisfying to finally see you doing this. We've been making videos together for years, 
And we we've, have. we've been, how many times have we told you you got to do your own gig? And now here you are. You're finally doing it. You're, gro you're growing up. You're leaving the nest like a big boy. I used to laugh. I, I honestly used to laugh. I just say that there's no way it's going to happen. I tell you on stream, off stream, dude, it, it's a pipe dream. It's never going to happen. Yeah. But here I am. I got I got a, I got a whole setup and I'm loving. It. I have a ton of fun. You 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 wailed hard. You wailed hard on your setup. You I did wail harder on my setup. I, I wailed for <laughs> you guys. Wailed for the senators. I wail for you. All right. Wailed for the senators. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me, Senator. Everyone again, check out his content. And I was always my brothers. Don't forget.